I truly understand there's, there's heavy weights on, on political leaders across the world right now. And I will say as the church, we are praying, we are fasting. The Bible calls us to pray for our leadership. So uh, that's what we're doing. We're standing with you, United States of America. We're praying that God gives you the wisdom to get through this difficult time and that we can do what is best for the people of Kenya. So what I would encourage, if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, lean on the word. Lean on the word because I know one thing, when things go like this in economy, God's people can go like this. It's a, it's a critical time for us to have faith and trust in his word. It's not time to weary. It's not time to uh, go astray, but it's time to unite and lock arms together and be the light of Christ no matter how difficult things become. Kizazi hiki ni kile ambacho kinapaswa kujitolea zaidi kwa masola ya kiungu niposa mungu waweze kutuongoza na kutushikanisha na viongozi ambao tuko nao kwa kuwapatia ile support tunayohitaji na watuhudumie vyema nasi kama vijana tuweze kuendelea na kusonga mbele na natumai kwamba hilo litaleta umoja katika nchi kwa sababu wana youth ama vijana katika taifa letu ni asilimia sabini na kama wote tutaungana na tujue ni yapi tutafata kufatia wazee wetu walio tutangulia na wasio wanaotoa basi tukifuata itakuwa ni msingi imara na tutajua ni wapi tunaelekea na kufanya nao tupasa kila wakati in the nation when we don't have the fear of god that's the danger because when you have the fear of god there will be no quarrel when you have the fear of god you go beyond your boundaries of where you, you operate from because you have the fear of God. But today, many people, they don't have the fear of God. Right. And because they don't have the fear of God, anybody who doesn't have the fear of God can do anything, can think evil, can plan evil, can rebel, can be rebellious. And when you do that, the danger will be there. The only thing they must do is the fear of God.